Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can change your GPS location on your Android phone or tablet or Android TV box. I'm actually going to use my Android tablet today, but it's very, very easy, simple to do. It's free and it has some really cool benefits. So let's go check it out. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm gonna use my tablet for this, so let's go ahead and jump on in. And the first thing that we need to do is actually turn on developer options, so let me show you how to do that right now. So the first thing we wanna do is from our tablet, we're just gonna go ahead and go to our settings tab. So you can go to uh, however you get to your settings app there. I'm gonna go right down here where I have all of this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click the little settings uh, icon right there. And from my settings, I wanna scroll all the way down until I get to where it says About Tablet. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on About Tablet. Now from the About Tablet uh, section here, I wanna to go to where it says Software Information and click on the Software Information uh, tab. And from the Software Information tab where it says Build Number, what you wanna do is go ahead and click that seven times. So you wanna go ahead and click that seven times. And as you do, you will start to see where it says you are so-and-so number of clicks away from uh, developer mode. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'll start clicking build number. And we'll see here where it says you're now four, three, two, one. And it says you are now one step away from developer mode. All I have to do is go ahead and put in the password for, uh, for my device. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my password now. And we can see there it says developer mode has been turned on. So I can now start using developer mode. Now, if you wanna know what password that is that I put in, the password is whatever password you have set up on your device. If you don't have a password set up on your device, then you don't need to worry about it. But if you have fingerprint, uh, you know, a fingerprint lock, or if you have a uh, face ID or something, or swipe or whatever it is, you usually have to have like a pin set up along with that. So this is going, that, that, um, that password is gonna be that pin that you have set up to access your device. All right, now let's go ahead and let me show you how you can actually change your GPS location. We just need to go ahead over to um, the, the App Store, the Google Play Store, excuse me, so that we can actually get in there and go grab an app. All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna hit the home button right there to go home. I'm gonna swipe on over and I'm gonna go into the Google Play Store right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and search for this app. The app is called Fake GPS. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that right there. And we're gonna see right here, it's Fake GPS Location by Lexa. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And we can see here it says Fake GPS Location by Lexa. And it's telling me I can install it there. It's a free app as we can see, so we don't have to worry about paying for anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Install button to get this installed. And we can see here it says Fake GPS uh, Location needs access to your photos, media files. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Accept. And there we go, it says uh, waiting for download. We can also see that it's verified by uh, Play Protect, so we don't have to worry about this app having any viruses or malware or anything like that in there. It has uh, been scanned and verified by Google Play Protect. And it's already installed, it was really just that quick. So we're gonna go ahead now and click on Open. And from Open, it's gonna take us in here and it's gonna say uh, Storage Location Access. Uh, photos, media, files on your device. It's already selected on there. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And now we can see here it says, the app was built for an older version of Android and may not work properly. Try checking for updates or contact the developer. Now this is because I just updated my Android tablet. So I'm on the latest firmware of Android. This was probably made for a version before that or maybe one or two before that. It should still work. So don't worry about it. Just go ahead and click okay so we can move beyond it. Now, if you want to, you can check for update. I'm gonna check that. It's probably not gonna have anything. As we can see, it's just gonna tell me to open it up. So I'm gonna open it up again. And now from here, it's gonna tell me, please set fake GPS as mock location in your device settings developer options. This is why we had to go ahead and set up and activate our developer mode because we needed to have access to have a mock location. So we're gonna go ahead and open our settings. Now, if you get a message like this that says, can't open settings, please do it manually. Go to settings, developer options, and allow mock locations. Just go ahead and click okay. 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go back to our home screen, and then we're gonna go back over here into our settings section. And from settings, we're gonna go ahead now and scroll down to the bottom of the list here, and we can see where it says developer options. That was something that was not here before, it just had the about tablet, but since we activated our developer mode, we now have the developer options. So I'm gonna go ahead and select developer options, and we can see there's a whole list of stuff, and there's a whole lot of stuff in here that we can activate, and we can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the allow mock locations tab and activate that. And we can see it's right here where it says select mock location app. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that right there. And we can see there's only one app that we have that allows for a mock location, which is fake GPS location. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And we can see there it says on there now, mock location app, fake GPS, and that's all we have to do. So now what we can do is we can hit the home button and go back home, and we wanna go ahead now and open up the fake GPS location. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my app drawer. I'm just gonna scroll over. We're gonna find it right there where it says fake GPS, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on it to open it up. And now I can just go ahead and click on there on the map to get rid of that pop-up because, well, we've already activated the, uh, we've already des uh, designated this app as our mock location app. So now what we can do is we can come over here to the, uh, to the menu here, the little menu uh, lines and click that. And what we wanna do is come over here and we wanna go to settings. And if we get an app, if we get a message like this again, just go ahead and click okay. That's gonna just get us out of it. And now what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and we wanna go ahead and select how we want this, uh, how we want this to, to work, this app to work. So we can choose all of these different options. We can choose show icon and, uh, and status bar. Um, we can choose start on boot. We have history count. We have GPS uh, settings. We have uh, accuracy set, uh, GPS accuracy values and meters. We have um, update interval, set location, update interval in millimeters. We have auto altitude. We have uh, manual altitude, which is not showing up right there. We have uh, simulate moving. And so that if you want to simulate that you're moving, you can do that as well. And you can have move distance. We actually are going to go ahead and go back. Now to set your, uh, your fake GPS location, all we really need to do is just simply go on the map and just select where it is in the world that we want to be. So for instance, I'm gonna come here and go to the United States. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go say to California and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll in and I'm gonna choose Los Angeles. I'm just gonna choose right there, right in the smack middle of LA, right where the little dot is for LA. And let's see, wherever that is, it's showing near, right near uh, the LA Times Editorial Library, right near Broadway. So once we see the little pin right there, all we have to do is click over here off to the right where we have that little green play button. We're gonna click that right there. And boom, it's it. It's gonna bring that, it's gonna sort of close the app or look like the app is closed. But what's gonna happen now is, is that it's actually reading like I'm from or in Los Angeles. So now, what I can do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and open up an app that has some geo blocking for their TV stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get an app called Lowcast. So this is the app, it's called Lowcast. It says I need to update. So I'm gonna go ahead and update it and get this uh, app updated. And then I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna select, uh, actually I really, really won't need to select anything because it's gonna read my location as Los Angeles. So it's gonna take me to Los Angeles and I'll be able to watch live TV from Los Angeles even though I'm actually all the way on the other side of the United States. All right, let's go ahead and open it up since it's ready to go. I'll click that there. It's gonna ask me to log in, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my email. Okay, so now that I've actually opened the app up and I'm in here, let's go ahead and check. And so I'm gonna click the little button right here, which is uh, looks like a little uh, cityscape. I'm gonna click that and we're gonna have a list of cities and we can see right here, it's gonna show that I'm actually located in Los Angeles. It's very, very simple. So you can see right there, thinks I'm in Los Angeles because, well, that's where I set the fake GPS location to. Now I can also come here and go to my, uh, my, uh, my little status bar here and we can see here that the fake GPS is gonna give me my latitude and longitude that I set and this is gonna be in Los Angeles. That latitude and longitude is gonna actually be in the city of Los Angeles. So now if I wanted to watch TV, I can just simply come here, click on this, and I can choose to watch TV in the Los Angeles area. And it's really just that simple. It'll load up and give me a little ad first. And there it is. And 
that's it. That's all I had to do. And that's it. That's all I had to do was really just that easy. You can start watching and using you know, TV from different locations from around the country, around the world. You can use it if you're playing something like Pokemon Go or something like that, or if you need to access something from some other place. Maybe you're just taking photos and you want to front like you're in South Beach when you're really on, you know, some beach in, you know, wherever, in, in Illinois or something, or your local lake, but you want to front like you're someplace else. You can do that because you can actually set your fake GPS to make it look like you were somewhere else and then you can do whatever you want with that information. But it's really handy. It really is, you know, for instance, if let's say that you have a bank account in France because you used to live there and you can't access that bank account from outside of France, you can set your fake GPS location to a France to, to France somewhere, maybe in Paris or or uh, wherever you might be. And then you can go ahead and access your account that way. That way you can always be able to, to, to be wherever in the world it is that you need to be using this app. All right, so now once you're done and you wanna go back to your regular location, the way you turn this off is just simply go here to uh, swipe down where you can see all your notifications, click on fake GPS, that will open up the app. And then you can go over here to where you see the green uh, play icon on the other side, you'll see the little uh, pause icon. Just click that and you can see where it says fake GPS provider stopped. It's just that easy. You've now stopped it and you can go back to your regular location. Just that simple. So yeah, yeah, it's really easy. And you can change this. You can go anywhere in the world that you want. So you can click this and let's say that you want to go to, uh, you know, I don't know, let's see. Let's say you want to go to Egypt. Click that, scroll in, boom. Now you can be in Egypt, wherever you want to go. So, you know, let's say you don't want to be in Egypt. Let's say you want to go to, uh, you know, I don't know. Let's say you want to go somewhere in Africa. Let's say you want to be in Angola. You click that, boom, you're now in Angola. Just that easy. I mean, you start it up, fire it up, and you're ready to rock and roll from wherever in the world you want to be. So, yeah. Anyways, that's the fake GPS app. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is how you can change your GPS location on your Android device. This is gonna work on your phones, on your tablets. It will work on Android TV boxes. It'll work on pretty much any place where you can install the fake GPS app. Now, there are some other apps out there. I haven't tried them. If you know of any good ones, let me know. This is the one that I've been using and it works really, really well. It's simple to use. You just need to turn on your developer options and then set the app as your mock location app. And that's it. You're good to go, up and running, and you can change your location and stop it, rechange it. You can be all over the world in a matter of moments. It's really just that easy. So yeah, anyhow, I'm going to leave links to it down below, to the app down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also going to leave links to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time... Love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.